Hi friends, Valerie Turner with Close to My Heart, and I am so excited that you have chosen to take my One Sheet Wonder class at this year's Mega Meet. I look forward to having you in class. In addition to our class time, I wanted to provide you with this quick video showing you how I cut the patterned paper for the One Sheet Wonder cards, as well as how I cut and score the cute little box that all of our cards will fit in. I look forward to seeing you at Mega Meet. And if you have any questions at any time, feel free to contact me. My contact information will be at the end of this video, as well as a link to my group. I hope to see you soon. Have a great day. Let's get started with our cutting guide for the One Sheet Wonder. Here you'll see I have a template that you can take a screenshot of so that you have all of the measurements easy at hand. These cuts are so super quick and easy. You'll see as we get started. So I'm going to go ahead and move this aside. I'm going to bring in our trimmer. And our pattern paper that we are going to use for our One Sheet Wonder. Isn't this paper so beautiful? And all of the Close to My Heart paper is two-sided, so you have this beautiful floral print on this side. And then on the other side, you have a more masculine uh, pattern. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with our first cut, which is going to be five and a quarter. Okay, so I'm going to line this up at my five and a quarter. Make sure I'm straight. And I'm going to go ahead and cut. Oops, I'm shaking the camera. Okay, I'm cutting more than one sheet of paper here, so I'm just making sure I have a good cut. And then I'm going to set this aside for a moment. And then I'm going to take my remaining and I'm going to do a three and a half cut. So three and a half. And then our remaining piece here is three and a quarter, okay? Now I'm going to take our first section. So here we have one, let me see if I do, we have one, two, and three. This is our five and a quarter, our three and a half, and our three and a quarter. So I'm gonna scooch these aside so that I can bring my five and a quarter piece in. And I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to cut at four. Four again. I'm going to move these pieces aside. So now we have our five and a quarter by four twice. Okay, this is our remaining piece. We're going to cut this at two. I'm gonna set these aside. Okay, next I'm gonna bring in our three and a half, and we're gonna cut again at three and a half. And if you're cutting along with me, you can pause this video at any time so that you can make your cut. Okay, and then we're gonna do another at three and a half. I'm going to set these aside. We're going to take this piece here and we're going to turn it back this way. And we are going to cut at one. 
0.75. So one and three quarters. So this piece is going to be five by one and three quarters. Okay. All right, so there's our last cuts for that piece. Now we're gonna bring in our three and a quarter and we're gonna cut at three and a quarter. I'm gonna cut again at three and a quarter. I'm going to move these pieces out of the way. Okay, so now we have a piece that looks like this. And we're going to cut this diagonal. And if you don't know how to do that, I line my pieces up. So you have your corner here and your corner here in your track. Okay, so just that corner, corner and corner. And then I'm going to go ahead and make that cut. I'm standing up over my camera, so I'm just double checking because I'm not sitting down over my paper here. Oops, oops, oops. And I think we kind of moved a little bit. Okay. There we go. Okay. So now we have these cut diagonal okay so now if we bring our cutting guide back in from our one sheet under we'll have card one and card one so you're going to make two with each size two I might not have these completely straight, but I'm just showing how we bring in our All right, my friends, how easy is that? So your first cut, I cut down there and then make my individual cuts across. Okay. I will see you in the next part of this video where we will put together the box. Hi friends, Valerie Turner at Close to My Heart, and today I wanted to walk you through the scoring for this cute little box that holds our cards and envelopes. What a great gift this would make for someone or even to hold your own cards in. Look at how super cute that is. Okay, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to score our cardstock. I am going to use the Close to My Heart scoreboard. Unfortunately, we no longer make this scoreboard. You can use your cutter along with an embossing stylus to do your scoring as well. So here I will show you both methods, actually. Uh, here's the lid. This piece is four and one eighth by eight. And we are going to score this at one inch all the way around. So how I would do that is I would put my paper at the one inch. I would use my embossing stylus in the track here. Okay. You wanna be careful that you don't uh, pierce through your paper. Okay. Also, your cutter probably even has a score tool that you could use as well. Um, but typically, my embossing stylus is just much more handy for me. Okay, and we're one all the way around, right? 
So this is for the lid and we are scoring it at one inch all the way around. Oops, and you don't want to put a hole in it like I almost did right there. Okay, so here is our lid scored at one inch all the way around. Okay, or if you're using something like a scoreboard, we'll go ahead and do our bottom or the base for our box. And this paper is 10 by 12. Okay. And on this one, we are going to score at five and turn it over and score at five again. Whoops, I got off track there. Okay, and then we're gonna score it this way at two and then two again. Okay, so our base is a 10 by 12 piece of cardstock. You're gonna score it at five, turn it around, score it at five again, score it at two, and turn it around and score it at two again. For our lid, we have a four and one eighth by eight, scored at one all the way around. Okay, one inch all the way around. And if you are like me and were a slow learner on your eights, uh, in your 16th, don't be shy. I was too. It took me a long time to be able to know what exactly I needed to cut when I looked at a direction and they said one eighth, three and eighths, five in five eighths, right? I, I always shied away from those cuts and I would actually always just round it to the nearest quarter because I didn't even know what to do. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick little demo here and hopefully you can see. Um, let me see if I use my scissors here to point if that will help. We have our one. Okay, here's one and one eighth. Two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, right? One, one and a quarter, one and a half, one and three quarters, and two. Our eights are the larger lines that are between each of our quarters. And our smaller ones are our sixteenths, right? Okay, so one and one eighth is right here at the larger line between one and a quarter. Okay, I hope that helps. Okay, friends, so once we have our scoring done, we are going to do a little bit of cutting, okay? So we are going to cut here and here for our lid, right? So it's going to look something like that so that we can fold these pieces in like that, right? So you can see our boxes forming. And we're going to cut here and here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. We're going to cut up here to that line just to the line and we're going to cut over here to the line got my scissors backwards we're going to cut here to the line and here to the line and when you put your box together you want to make sure that you're using some good adhesive uh, some like red tape or even some liquid glass, some good adhesive. And I like to give my, all my score lines a good crease, right? Okay, so now you can see how our box lid is going to form, right? Okay. 
So there is our lid once you've adhered it together, right? The close to my heart cardstock is two sided, so if I wanted the dark side, I would just fold it the other way. Which is nice. I love that about the close to my heart cardstock that it is two sided. Okay, so now. Okay, so there is our lid. Okay. All right, for our bottom piece, we're gonna do a little bit of cutting in here as well. For this one, we are going to cut here and down here, okay? So we are cutting here and here, just up to that line. So here and here. And again, you wanna use good adhesive when you put this together. Here and here. Okay. All right, so then we will want to do a good crease on all of our, and I think I want to do it the dark side, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it this way. Give a good crease to all of our score lines. And then look at how easy our box is going to come together. And then we would glue our sides down. And there we have our cute little box ready to be decorated. Again, make sure that you use good adhesive, right? And I will put all the measurements of what I use to decorate mine and the cards inside. But let's take a quick look at the cards. And I've used a number of different pattern papers for these cards. Um, but you can see here is card one and look at how cute it looks with the different patterns. So, so cute. Here is card number two. And I love that this all cuts from one pattern paper, a one sheet wonder. And I've added in some card stock. I'll put the dimensions of all of that. Okay, this one I did in a different way. So you can do this both ways. So here is card number four this way and card number four uh vertical and horizontal look at how fun that is okay and again you can see the different patterns that i've used card number five and card number six this one i also did a little bit differently one is at the top and one is at the bottom so you can do either or Okay. I hope that you have enjoyed this one sheet wonder.